The general term of the given series has three components in the denominator. The first components are 1, 3, 5 and so on. And therefore, the first component in the general term is 2r minus 1. Similarly, the second components are 3, 5, 7 and so on. And therefore, the second component in the general term is 2r plus 1. Finally, the third components are 5, 7, 9 and so on. And therefore, the third component in the general term is 2r plus 3. Therefore, the general term of the given series, let's denote it by ur, can be expressed as 1 upon 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. Now multiply the numerator with the expression 2r plus 3 minus in brackets 2r minus 1. Now this is equal to 4, therefore divide by 4 as well. And therefore, ur can be expressed as a difference of two terms. The first term is 1 upon 4 times 2r plus 3 divided by 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. And the second term is 1 upon 4 times 2r minus 1 divided by 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. In the first term, 2r plus 3 cancels across the numerator and denominator and in the second term, 2r minus 1 cancels. Therefore, ur is equal to 1 upon 4 times in brackets 1 upon 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1 minus 1 upon 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. Now let's denote the second term inside the brackets by vr. Replacing r with r minus 1, vr minus 1 is equal to 1 upon 2 times r minus 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2 times r minus 1 plus 3. And this simplifies to 1 upon 2r minus 1 times 2r plus 1. Notice that this is equal to the first term inside the brackets in the expression for ur obtained above. Therefore, the general term ur of the given series can be expressed as 1 upon 4 times in brackets vr minus 1 minus vr. Now put r is equal to 1, we get the first term of the series u1 equal to v0 upon 4 minus v1 upon 4, put r is equal to 2, we get u2 equal to v1 upon 4 minus v2 upon 4, put r is equal to 3, we get u3 is equal to v2 upon 4 minus v3 upon 4 and so on and so forth. Put r is equal to n. The nth term un is equal to vn minus 1 upon 4 minus vn upon 4. Add all of these equations. On the left hand side we get the sum of the n terms of the given series. And on the right hand side v1 upon 4 in the first equation cancels with v1 upon 4 in the second equation. Similarly, v2 upon 4 in the second equation cancels with v2 upon 4 in the third equation and so on and so forth till we are left with only two terms on the right hand side. And so the right hand side is equal to v0 upon 4 minus vn upon 4. Now recall that vr is equal to 1 upon 2r plus 1 times 2r plus 3. Put r is equal to 0. We get the value of v0 equal to 1 upon 1 times 3, which is equal to 1 upon 3. Therefore, the sum of the given series to n terms is equal to 1 upon 4 times in brackets 1 upon 3 minus vn, which is 1 upon 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3. And this is equal to 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3 minus 3 divided by 
12 times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3, which is equal to 4n square plus 8n plus 3 minus 3 divided by 12 times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3. 3 cancels in the numerator and therefore the sum to n terms of the given series is equal to n square plus 2n divided by 3 times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3 which can also be written as n times n plus 2 divided by 3 times 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 3 which is the required answer.